Hey folks, it's Sean McQuills, and welcome back to my Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. This is part 5 of our God King campaign. Last we left off, we had been pretty much harassing some of our friends up in the north, such as the Flandians and uh, the Western... Actually, no, it was the Batanians. Apologies. It was Batanians, and we got ourselves caught up a bit in taking a lot of casualties coming over there. But now we're back down southwest in trying to essentially get ourselves back up into fighting spirit, but we need a lot more infantry and a lot more archers. But that's going to take time. Now they do have some female archers here. A lot of female. This is actually really interesting to see so many archers just for these three available things. We're not going to be picking any of them up though because they're not who we want. Again, we're going to be specializing our Sturgeon force, uh, our Sturgeon units from uh, this special clan line, or I guess the special units line, into our melee units. Well, the battalion units that we get from these people, uh, from our own uh, villages and uh, these villages right here of the other ancients, we're going to be turning into archers because, frankly, they're a lot better. Um, or they're pretty decent archers and better archers than what the Stargans can provide because the Stargans can go right. Now, unfortunately, their uh, archers will turn right into, um, what's the word? Um, they'll turn into horse archers, which I want to keep primarily to just be my imperial units. Because um, otherwise it's going to be a lot of horse archers that I don't really want. Um, with the army limit that we have, we can have over we can have about 385 individuals, which is just absolutely insane. Um, definitely, we definitely can go for about 100, 100, 100 at the very minimum. Uh, having 100 horse archers would be, again, just absolutely crazy. Um, will we actually get there? I can't say for sure, but we certainly will see what happens. Um... As it stands right now, we have only 20... I, I can't do math. I don't want to do math at the moment. But we have around 50. I'm just going to say 50. That could be right. It could be wrong. Um, but we want to get all of these guys into the Imperial Veterans so we can turn them into the Busalari. We already have 13 of the Busalari, but having 50 Horse Archers is already a pretty decent number. Um, but we are going to want to pick up more Imperial units, more Imperial recruits to turn them into Archers, um, just to turn them into the Busalari, because I want to have my units kind of be uh, centered and easier to control. Or, or I guess manage. I don't want to wait in the village. Let's not do that. Um, but as of right now, we do need to get our, our army up to essentially full strength because the only way we're going to win down here is if we can get our own armies, our own parties. Um, we have Catalyst party. We should have another party roaming around here somewhere. At least we should. Um, I thought we did. Am I going crazy? Oh, there they are. So, uh, yeah, we have a party here and we have Catalyst party there. Um... If we look at our party sizes, they're each at 115, they're at max party size. Uh, if we get in one more party running about, we could easily have enough troops uh, to probably try sieging a city. It may not go well, um, but it's definitely worth a shot just because if we can take the city, it'll be massive. It'll be another massive boost for our own uh, limit. Um, but we are getting almost already at that part of it. Unfortunately, I did forget to look for the party um, increaser uh, before I start recording this. So I'll be doing it before going to the next uh, video. But I mean, that's definitely going to be necessary. Uh, otherwise, we will be making some adjustments to our wonderful little, um, our wonderful little campaign here to allow it to make it a little bit more easy for us because we're not going to do too well if we only have four parties. There's no way we can conquer and hold the map, uh, but we'll, we'll see what we can pull off. We can see what we do. Uh, this is definitely going to be a difficult thing to try taking. It has 1,800 men defending the city alone, partially because there's a party. Sorry. There's a party of 920... That's not an army. That's a party. Whoa. How, how? I really hope that's an army. There's no way that can be a party. If that is a party, I am my, I am thoroughly scared. Um, but we're definitely going to want to spec heavily into having a lot of infantry. Um, so we do need to pick up a lot of my units. I'm not going to really take them into war. Just yet, if I'm going to go to war, it'd be with the Asurai, but it's not my number one priority at the moment. Um, because, frankly, I don't want to have to hold this bridge. My parties will probably go in there and start raiding experience with their own troops. But I really want to see what we can pull off if we can just go ahead and go full in. Uh, just full send on these, um... On these, uh... I guess these people right here. Again, these would be the best people for us to attack... Um, if we get 380 and pull in all the units, we'll have around 600 to put us about 100 beneath them. But it would still be a pretty decent number overall. I think what I'm going to do is actually head over here because I don't think they pick a whole lot of units. I'm going to head down this way and just grab a bunch of their units. Um, we definitely need to buy a bunch of food. So I'll probably buy all the food from this uh, city right here just to kind of drain them of it. Um, hopefully they'll start starving out faster than we have to attack them. But we'll see how that goes. Um, I frankly don't know. But yeah, I'm going to pick up all of these rogues. They're pretty much just going to be cannon fodder. Um, maybe we should, 
we think, no, maybe we should actually go to war with the Asurai first. Um, at least, at the very least, to get them upgraded to an actual proper force with at least shields at the very minimum. Because um, I don't think Marauders even have shields. So if we can get them on the Phenal Spearmen, it'd probably be better. Because it just, I think it's a little too dangerous not to. Hmm. It's an interesting dilemma we find ourselves in. We might as well try. I think getting our units upgraded will be most servers better than uh, if we don't. So yeah, that's probably going to be planned for now. Uh, again, a bunch of our, our guys are ready to go into uh, horse archers. They just don't have the horses, so maybe we can pick up some horses here. Um, what's our food looking at? We've got 110, about seven days of food left, a full week. Um, definitely going to need to increase that number uh, before we start the siege, because I feel like the siege might take a lot longer than what we're prepared for. Uh, we'll pick up all these wonderful units, though. Oh, no, I don't want the archer, actually. Let's get rid of her. Um, no, let's not buy food from this city. Uh, we will buy the Asurai horses, though. Because these are war horses, I will not buy any. I, I guess I will actually. I'm gonna buy the rest of those though, and now we can actually upgrade another two of our horse archers. So we'll do that real quick, and that works out pretty well for us. Now we have 15 of the Busolari. Uh, still can't do my math here, but that's 28, 30 plus. We have 45. Uh, all things considered, if we get another five uh, Imperial archers, we can have a total of 50. I'm pretty sure I did that math earlier in a uh, previous episode, just can't remember which one. Um, pretty sure it was actually last episode, I think about it. But yeah, they have a massive army of 982 here. So that's the one problem, is that army is so big that if they end up do coming to stop us from sieging, we'll have to turn around and fight that army first. And I get the feeling we can't exactly win that. So, I don't know, it's going to be an interesting, very interesting dilemma we're going to find ourselves in. And hopefully we can come out on top. Um, but this is definitely the biggest hurdle. If we can beat the Southwest here, beat these uh, two factions, we'll definitely be set to conquer the rest of the map, assuming we can get the party limit working. Uh, but we'll see what uh, what happens with that. Hopefully I can find a proper mod that doesn't conflict with the game files and uh, doesn't cause crashes. Otherwise, I'll be a very, very sad boy. Um, anyways, anyways, we're still picking up more troops here. I know a lot of the same. Sorry, folks. We only have about 30 more troops to pick up. We need to pick up all these troops because, again, cannon fodder, and they're going to pretty much help us take this city which will really ha or really hamper uh, our enemy's ability to um, kind of essentially sally out. Maybe if we actually get a decent amount of them in there, they'll sally out and fight us. With 1,600 units, I think we'd be better off fighting them with them sallying out than us actually just fighting them on the field. The problem with them, if we're only going to have like half our units on the field at a time if they come out and attack us. Okay, okay, so I think what I am seeing here so as we, we did see the party go in, so obviously I think it's counting the actual army itself. Uh, I don't know if those numbers are accurate now that I look at them. I need to do some math. I have to do some like off, you know, off camera math here. So this doesn't, there's no way her party, but yeah, because I think it's, this is Citra's party that you see at 929. That was the armor we just saw go in there. I'm fairly positive the other parties below that are also part of that army, so it's counting them towards that. So I feel like that number is probably about 500 lower than what it actually is. I, I think, I don't know for sure. Yeah, okay, so that's definitely, yeah, it's definitely counting all the members uh, in that army. Oh, that's not even a, oh, that's part of, oh, that's not, okay, that's not even the, that anyways. All right, Um. okay, so we just need 14 more units. We're very close there again, once again, sorry for this. Terrible, terrible weight. We should probably pick up some more Batanian youth, actually, just to get a bit more archers. We do have a decent amount of archers. Actually, we have a lot of infantry, now I think about it. We do need some more archers, so I think the rest will pick up is some archers. Um, just pick up all these wonderful individuals, these wonderful ladies. All right. And we do need to buy food, unfortunately, so we're going to double back if I have to do that. Uh, once we buy food, we're going to go ahead and buy some stuff here and just go ahead and attack some of the Asurai parties. Uh, just to kind of get some experience, we'll just harass them again, and hopefully we should put ourselves in a position to be able to um, attack this city here. This is the first city I want to take. They do some war horses, so definitely pick these up. Um, definitely want those war horses. Let's see. We need food, so let's go ahead and just buy. Let's just buy all of the grain. Actually, I don't see a reason not to. Yeah, let's just get all of that into our inventory. That's gonna last us for a long, long while. Uh, real quick, let's go ahead and also level up our horse archers or our veteran archers to. Um, the Busolari, uh, get them leveled up and get her leveled up. A uh, bunch of just base XP improvements from what's happening here. Uh, getting more of them into Rados, which we love to see. Yeah, a lot of a lot of rogues. Definitely want to get rid of that number because if we do try sieging with that many rogues, good chance that they're going to get killed before they can get to the walls with the amount of defenders that the uh, the cities has. Um, but it is really interesting to see. Just I'm kind of thinking back on this now with this mod 
But these factions only have two, yet there's so many members in these factions. At least they're able to have such a large party that it's really interesting to see. Because there's only four members here, but... Let's see, let's... No, it's the one we're just looking at. Wait. There's only four members in each of the... Each of the... The clans for that kingdom. But there, there's so many of them. So they just... Those clans are really high-level clans, which is, again, cool to see. It doesn't feel very um, very balanced in the scheme of things. So they have a lot, a lot of villages to recruit from. I guess maybe that does balance it out, that thing about looking on it. They don't have, they only have really two cities, and they have no castles. They only have villages. So they have five villages per city. Um, or that's six, and it's five villages per city. Um, so I guess maybe that does, it does make a bit of sense. It does seem a bit more fair than I'm looking at it. Uh, definitely a really, a really slow army just because we have so little horses. I think looking at our inventory, unfortunately it's going to take a second to uh, load in here as we have a whole, whole bunch of, uh, this is all the cheat stuff on the side here. Still have not disabled it, um, for reasons that actually for have gotten to shown. Uh, we do have a wonderful, uh, as we know, we have Olga in our party, or Vuna. Um, and I gave her some better gear. She now has the same gear that we had. I felt like it was only appropriate, right? She's the God King's wife. She's got to have the best gear to keep her safe. He would he would expect nothing. He, he'd give her nothing less. So I mean, that's pretty much what I did um, with the cheats. Again, sorry if you're not a big fan of cheats, but then again, this might not just be for you because I pretty much have used cheats for the good portion of this to get things set up. I gave myself a city. I uh, increased my renown to make myself have a larger party, have larger armies, and form a kingdom. So yeah, maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. Um, but we're definitely going to declare war here. We stick to our original plan just to kind of help out and make sure uh, we're doing just fine here. And uh, get our troops essentially promoted with a nice big large battle I'm hoping. Which we hopefully see if I'm going to actually get beta out of the city over here. Which would be really nice. Because um, they'll definitely form an army to try protecting Kuwaz here. And uh, if, we can get, if we can fight them that would be great. Um, but we'll see what happens here. We definitely will. <laughs> I don't think I'm... Yeah, a looter armor is faster than me. I just need a lot of horses. That's really what I need. We'll buy, we'll buy, we're going to buy all the horses, actually, from this village, the city, um, while we can. Why are Britannian war mounts being sell, sold here? It makes no sense. Is there a reason to buy a mule? It just acts as, um... It's plus carry weight, but we want the movement speed, so definitely not the... Don't want to carry mules, we want the movement speed, so... We'll uh, settle for what we have now. Um, let's go ahead and make sure, I do want to sell off some stuff, so let's make sure we don't um, sell off the horses that we had just bought, or the cows. Uh, we also had equipment that we had, um, some good equipment. Oh, yeah, there she is, okay, those, that, that's the stuff she had, here's her armor. We're just going to hold on to all of that. The boots, she didn't have very good boots on. She had the rough bear skin, which is a nice piece, and also this helmet. So yeah, my wife has some pretty decent gear too. Um, but we're going to sell off everything else and essentially just call it there with grand still locked in uh which shouldn't be too much of a problem i'm just gonna go ahead and sell everything uh everything else off we still have a whole bunch of gear that we're getting we could buy mm, we could just go ahead and buy all the food out this is not really going to do anything for them buy some of their fish might as well let's bring ourselves up to like six thousand pounds of uh gear we still don't have another five thousand spare uh which isn't a problem oh there's the yes button you, <laughs> so weird i wish that was, was a bit more compact i think there's a mod that does that uh, but i will have to see uh, so let's see what we can do now. Let's make sure we actually lock the fish real quick, just so we don't uh, run out of that. As you can tell, there's literally no... Our party morale will always be at 100 because of our own personal <laughs> effects on it with the stuff that we have. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and quickly declare war on the Kuzites now. Uh, because we want them to essentially fight them so we can farm up some decent experience for our units. Um, so let's go ahead and Kuzites. We're actually paying them already too, so... We might as well fix that, get some money, get some of our money back. Uh, we're going to be seats of town. I really don't care whether or not uh, we take the city. I'm just going to pretty much stall out the uh, attack here. They'll hopefully should form an army and send one over to stop me. I imagine it's going to come from this direction. Um, I don't know if they're at war with the Western Empire or the Vlandians. I can't imagine they are. They don't typically tend to do that. Uh, what's going on here? What's going on with the character sheet? It's telling me something's happening, but I doubt it is. Uh... Did I send... I think I did send the Thanos out on... with his own party. Yeah, I need to get him some better equipment. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can do that until he gets captured and we can take him back into the party. Um, as you can just tell, though, we have 385 units to 541. Even though this is... we're attacking and we're on the offensive here, uh, our army is actually pretty strong compared to them. Um, 
just based off numbers. So we have 110 range and 255 infantry, which isn't half bad considering all things. Um, definitely primarily going for the infantry as we were talking about, um, which is going to be pretty massive for our things. I think we sat there long enough to trigger them to hopefully have formed an army and be waiting nearby. Um, but we will see what happens. They're raiding the village. Where's the other party at? Calissa's still over there. Hopefully, I mean, I kind of wish I could command them to just kind of stand on that bridge uh, to kind of floor anyone trying to come over, but we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully they don't get to the... Uh, get over there and kind of mess with our stuff. Uh, do we want to head through here? Typically there's a lot more traffic going this way. Ah, here we are. So yeah, large party here. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch them. They're a lot faster than us and we're really slow, so unless another large party... Ooh, this is actually perfect. So this is what we want to do, fight this large army. They still have a lot of numbers on us, um, but this is probably just going to be an easy fight for us, really just farming up that wonderful experience and hopefully just going from there. But uh, we'll see how this goes. Cogginess and overconfidence can definitely be a, a, a downside. Uh, but as you can... Oh my god, what is this? Infantry! The frames. Oh, the frames. The infantry just take up a full... Oh my god, look how much... Bowman! Uh-oh. I don't know where my horse archers are. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Luckily, when the horses fall off and kill themselves, they get wounded. Um, so yeah, on the candy maps, they like to spawn um, on top of the mountains. I can't say why. They just really love to do that. And uh, it's a little, a little concerning that they're so suicidal. Um, like, we just have this massive wall of infantry. I actually, it's so weird to see this much. Like, I, I definitely have messed around with mods before and cheats uh, with the console commands. I've given myself like 500, like 1,000 plus infantry just to see what kind of battles I can have. But this just feels so thick, especially, actually it feels a little, it feels really thin on the right side but really thick on the left. Um, so yeah, we have our own archers kind of firing on their incoming horse archers. As soon as that wall gets... <laughs> Okay, maybe we should um get our shield out here. I know I'm the god king and all, but I don't want to get shot with an arrow. Um, so as the wall gets closer, we're going to pretty much command the infantry to get back. The line should hold for our uh, wonderful, wonderful infantry. Definitely will lose some people, probably around maybe 20 to 30. But all things considered, we should get a lot of experience from this. So hopefully the archers can get some kills. Uh, this is the first uh, kill that they've gotten. Uh, actually, I've gotten more kills. We're taking a lot of shots. That's to be expected. Uh, they only have 30 archers, interestingly, enough in our army. Archer! They are getting close, so now might be the best time. As soon as they start moving forward again, this is probably where we move them back. Yeah. Nope, we want to shield wall. Hopefully the archers will start moving. There they go. And we have our guys in a shield wall. We have... They're pretty much moving it. This, this, hold on, get off! I need to not be doing that. No, don't hit me. So yeah, they're gonna get to the wall here, or our shield wall. It should be fine. Again, we'll just pretty much harass their sides here. Try to keep them from getting around us. There's only so much I can do. Okay, come on. I need some less wins. I need. To... Yeah, focus me. Focus the God King. Leave my army alone. Yeah, they're trying to harass their flanks here. Slaughtering them in mass is the best way to really just break their lines and break their morale. So, there they go. That's a lot of death right there. That's a lot of death. How many we've lost so far? About 20? We're probably going to lose more than I anticipated, but that's fine. Are they retreating? No. They just, I really... Please die. There you go. I need someone to die. I need, I need people to die here. No, no. Yeah, give me those backs. Give me those juicy backs. Give me these juicy backs, yeah. Okay, okay, come on. How are we doing? Doing pretty well. We've lost 25 people. We're still just slaughtering from the back here. It's up on this right side here. They kind of got pinched in. There we go. We got to our archers. I'm sure we lost some archers, but that's fine. At this point, I'm not so much... I'm not too caring about... Uh... Let's go ahead and charge our remaining infantry. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's just charge everyone. Yeah, don't shoot me. You can't shoot me. Oh. The cavalry's coming in hot and thick. I'm just going here. I'm slicing off next. Oh, I need I, I think my bill hook a bit. I get the bill hook some love. Hey, what you gonna do with that? Huh? You got a nice little jab on the hand. Let me just cut you apart real quick. Get your I wanna hit your horse. I don't care about horses this time around. 
The horse war crimes are non-existent. Hey, don't, don't just let them hit you from the side. I know you're a war maiden, but like... You know, come on. Why are you just running with javelins? Don't you want to throw that at least? Oh, they're all in a shield wall still. Let's... No, don't go fire. Let's put them in a line. Yeah, okay. That way they shouldn't just be running around with their shields up. That was slowing them down significantly. Uh, they still have a lot of people just kind of running. Oh, that was a very good jab throw. Hold on, I'll finish it off. Oh, that was beautiful. Uh, let's see. We lost four Busulari Ogonas wounded. A whole bunch of about, about 30 deaths. I was actually almost spot on with that number of deaths. Um, 151 wounds, which is honestly massive. But again, compared to the amount of promotions that we're going to get, it's certainly going to be well worth it. And it's going to be putting us in a pretty decent situation. Um, unfortunately, it looks like the majority of our army is going to get away. I doubt my... Um, Oh, wait, are they, are they just reforming? I'm confusing what's happening here, actually. The battle isn't over, so they definitely do have still units uh, fighting. Uh, predominantly these infantry, which... They're in full retreat. I actually don't know what's going on. Um, this Busalari just might want to move, because he's just getting stabbed off his horse. There's one thing you don't want to do, is charge into the Asurai lines, because they love to, uh, love to have their spears ready. There you go. No, don't. There you go. Okay, so a lot of them have actually already fled. Uh, still horse archers on the backs. No, nope, come on, come here, come here, come here, buddy. Come here, let me slice your horse. Let me hit you, let me, damn it. Come here, let me hit your ass. I, I'm, come on, nope, don't, don't fight it. Stop moving, stop moving. Just accept it, there you go. All right, and it's just the infantry left, and I think they're in full retreat, so as soon as they're gone, we should be fine. I don't know, yeah, I think they're all down here. It's a long run, Jesus. I'm hauling ass with some of that. Come on. Yeah, get that javelin out. You still have, you still have three spears. Throw them. Throw them. Don't let them get away. I don't want any scapies. I went to take a drink of, a, of my soda. And uh, I started pouring it into my mouth. Despite my fact my mouth wasn't open just yet. Alright, there we go. Um, could you guys get this last guy? Is it over? Oh, wait. Is it, oh, there we go. So it was just that guy. I literally did not see that guy. Okay, now it's over. So yeah, 30 deaths on the dot. I am so good with that prediction. Um, we're going to take them prisoner. We're going to take all these guys prisoner just so we don't have to pay them. I think we can declare peace now, actually. Um, just because we just literally slaughtered all of them. Um, and we're going to get all of these Sturgeons into Marauders. Yeah, let's look at that number. Just no more of that. Get all of them. Not too many Marauder pr uh, promotions, unfortunately, but we have a lot more Sturgeon female veteran warriors, uh, which is definitely welcome. Uh, Going to get all these youth into uh, the archers. Excuse me. Well, Bert. Going to put more of these axe flutes into heavy axes and them into reapers. Uh, Force major custodians to the female rangers. Don't mind that, as well as the female Fionns. Going to do that the same. Uh, we have Sturgeon female archers. Not going to touch them. We're going to do them first. Uh, Busulari. Don't know how much I just actually put into the Busulari, but uh, we'll take it. And get them into veterans. And we're almost completely... We almost have all of our infantry sorted the way. None of these troops I'm really looking to get, so we're just going to leave them be. Um, lame desert horse. That's unfortunate. Uh, we're not going to take that because of that. Uh, we're going to take all these desert horses, though. That'll definitely help increase our movement speed. Otherwise, I don't really see a reason to take all of this stuff. We are definitely over limit now because the amount of wounded men we have. Uh, it's going to slow us down a bit, but it won't be too terrible. Uh, let's see what happens if we go to make peace now. Hopefully, we're still paying. So why are we going to be paying more? You would think that we just inflict a lot more casualties. And yeah, I mean, they've, they've lost 600 plus men and we have six of the prisoners, yet we're paying them. Interesting. I don't understand why. Maybe because we're the one who declares war on them? Who knows? Uh, who really knows? Maybe that has just changed things. Uh, diplomacy. Still paying 410. Uh, the only way we're really going to be able to get these guys, I think if we take them prisoner and put them away, it'll be fine. So I guess we're going to head back towards the southwest ahead of Carrington. I'm kind of worried about Kalissa here. Hmm. What do we do? You know what? We'll make peace either way. We, we got what we wanted. I really just wanted some XP to get our troops into a better position. Um, not have so many tier 1 troops, so at least they're slightly better. So I guess we'll, we'll make peace. We'll pay them for now. It'll be fine. They'll be the first ones we probably conquer after we take the southwest anyway, so they'll have their moments of bliss and peace. Um, but yeah, we did what we wanted to do. We just need to make sure our troops get rested up, pick up some more infantry, because we lost mostly infantry. Still pick up a few more archers there. I think maybe like four archers or five archers. I can't quite... 
or I'd be quite sure how many exactly we lost. So I'll pick up about five archers and then pick up the rest as infantry. Um, seems, I think, more than fair, more than justifiable in my current situation. As you can just tell, yeah, they're getting, they're healing up so fast though. We were, again, lost about 150 to wounds. Uh, but, all right, at wounds. And, uh, but they're just, they're getting right back up there. So that's great to see. Uh, luckily, two of them are already archers. And we're going to pick up another 25 wonderful uh, Sturgeon units. Unfortunately, they're going to be tier 1, but it's not going to be like the 80 plus units that we had had. So that's going to be a bit better for us in the long run. Uh... Oh. Change of plans, folks. Looks like uh, things are going to be a bit different. And you know what we might do? I'm feeling we just go all in. I want to get everyone over here. Let's go. Unfortunately, we don't have um, a create an army. We're gonna pull them pull them in. That's gonna increase our men to only five hundred and ninety, which isn't too much. It's really really low, but I still think we can win a siege with that, many, that much men. If we can win that siege and uh, get peace declared, um, we'll definitely be pretty decently off. Uh, we're gonna pick up a lot of these units here though, because we can't really afford to leave our lands all that much. So hopefully, once our parties get here, we should be relatively fine. I don't know how far away they are actually uh but they'll probably start raiding some of our villages which we can't really stop i don't know where their army is i'm actually scared they'll attack carrington but i don't think they're, they're going to have a large enough army to really stop us um unfortunately her army is about 20 short of what it can be uh, so that's going to inhabit or hamper her a little bit and make us a little bit lower on men uh we do have again a pretty large and decent army so i'm not too worried uh, again men are healing up but we are going to try to siege them this might be a really bad call. It might be a might be a really, really bad move. But <laughs> minus one thousand nine hundred and seventeen percent. Will we actually be able to start the siege? What did I just do? Uh oh. Okay, that <laughs> did not mean. To... <laughs> I know this is weird. I genuinely did not mean to do that. There was no reason for me to do so. Unfortunately, I'm going to quickly reload this. And I'm going to go back because that was not meant to happen. I know, a little cheesy, but that was a genuine mistake. I promise you, I would have no reason to click on that. So I'm going to pause it real quick. I'm going to come back. I'm going to reload it. Nothing else is going to be different except the fact that we didn't press that button because why would we have pressed that button unless we wanted the troll? Uh, but yeah, I'm going to I'll pause. I'll come back. Everything will be fine, I swear. Okay, so... Change of plan, folks, and this is something that I apparently didn't expect to happen, but as I was kind of running back over here, unfortunately my most recent save was right after we just defeated the party, um, or the Kuzites part, or the Asarais party, apologies. Um, the Valkyrie just declared war on us, not the other faction who actually previously just did. Um, why are we paying? Okay, I don't know what's happening there, uh, but we're gonna, I thought we made sure I have peace with them already, forgot we didn't do that, um, I had to redo that. Um, but yeah, we are at war now with the other faction, which is not what I wanted to happen, and that's a bit more dangerous for us, because they're a, a lot stronger and have a lot more units. Um, so what we're probably going to do is just have everyone hopefully get back over to the city, because we can't, we really won't be able to siege them. Um, because they'll just have a lot more units than us, and that's not something we can really afford to do. I know I was thinking, I was thinking earlier it would probably be the best thing we can do, but thinking on it now, it's it probably is not a good idea to attack that city. Um, because again, their army is so large; they have the same units that we uh, that we do. The units are a lot better, but they just have just generally more men than us, which means as much as I want to cheese the battles, uh, really we won't be able to realistically pull it off. So I guess things are going to be a bit different, unfortunately, um, with the whole auto save. Yeah, I loaded back in, but the same actions aren't guaranteed to happen if you reload an uh, earlier save, um, which unfortunately wasn't the case now this time around. Or is, I'm sorry, unfortunately is, unfortunately is the case this time around. Um, so it puts us in a really awkward situation, but we'll make do with what we have, and it's just unfortunate that this is the one. Um, but what I'm probably am going to do here is just kind of sit near the city. I don't know if they're going to attack us. If they are, it makes me a little bit more scared. Um, so what I'm going to have to do, actually, is just go ahead and call both of them back here. And hopefully uh, we can just kind of make sure that they don't end up attacking us. These villagers? Is that her party? That's her party. Why is she so wounded? What happened to her party? She attacked something. I don't know what the hell she had done. So they're attacking the settlement, which is to be expected. I'm actually just inclined to make peace with them. We're paying 600 tribute a day. So we'll see what we do. We'll come to this. 
Let's go see the size of the army, because depending on this, we can fight them, but I get the feeling it's going to be around roughly 900 men, um, which should, again, it's going to be problematic to try dealing with, to try fighting. Um, but we'll see what can come of it. Uh, they've already, they really raided, they just completely decimated that village. Uh, we saw, yeah, 960. There's no way we can fire an army of that size by ourselves. It just isn't realistically possible. They're going to just pretty much lay waste. Unfortunately, we might just have to make the call here and just make peace with them, because I can't think of a way for us to realistically... Yeah, to realistically fight this. Even if we have all of our parties together, we at most have 600 plus men. And going against units that are the same as ours with 300 additional men, even if we have like the most beneficial terrain, it's just a numbers game. We'll probably we'll win, or they'll win just because of attrition. So that is unfortunate. And um, unfortunately, we're probably going to have to save this for the next episode. Um, I'm not going to make peace just yet, but that's definitely something I'm considering on the table and just kind of forcefully paying them off because until we can get larger armies, I don't think we can actually fight either of these two factions because they still have, these guys still have armies of 900 running around too. So I know we're definitely in a weird spot here, but I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can figure out. Um, unfortunately, that's going to be where this one ends. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more in the future, you know what to do. This has been Jumping Quills, and I'll see you folks in the next one.